So after the words ran out, I discovered silence. Another of the books that I was given by my prayer group was one very precious one by a 17th century monk called Brother Lawrence. He was not one of the choir monks, one of the ones that sang the liturgy and in a sense was paid to pray. He was one of the monks who worked in the kitchens and uh, went about uh, doing errands. Uh, but he became one of the most uh, sought after spiritual directors in the age in which he lived. He learnt how to pray in the midst of his daily life, in the midst of his preparing the meals and working in his monastery to keep the brothers and the singing choir monks fed and watered. And although at the time I was a teenager and other people were doing the practical things to keep my life going, I wasn't to know then how important that book was to be for me in my later life. Practicing the presence of God, knowing uh, that God, uh, as the scripture says, is with us all the time. Uh, learning that God is present to us, whether we are in church, whether we are sitting down praying, uh, whether we are working, whether we are sitting watching television, whatever we are doing, God is present to us. And therefore, God is a reality to our spirits, uh, whether we are praying, watching telly with others, whatever we are doing, God is present to us. And therefore, we can be present to God. And it's a discipline, uh, knowing that God is as present to me when I'm peeling the potatoes or whether I'm, as it was then, doing my homework or walking to school or in a lecture, as, as I was at university rather than at school, practicing the presence of God. And it's about discipline uh, rather than about feelings or about emotion or about uh, discovering something lovely. Uh, I would recommend if you can find an old copy of Brother Lawrence practicing the presence of God. It's probably online, actually, uh, so you can probably download the text practicing the presence of God. Or even if you don't actually need to read his text, it's just a matter of saying to God, Dear Lord, I know that every moment of every day you are present to me and I am present to you. Please help me to be aware of you so that every moment I may draw on your strength. Now, of course, we don't always do it. I don't always do it. Um, we're not perfect. And it's not a question of being perfectly aware of God. It's not an attainment. It's an opportunity. It's an opening. And just as we have to learn it for the first time, so throughout our lives, we have to go through uh, the cycle of relearning that all the time, that the well of God's grace is always open to us. And sometimes, again, we have to learn the hard way uh, to put our bucket down into the well of his grace, uh, that we may access his love and his resources for us day by day.